Hi there and welcome back. We're going to be looking at playing with this button right over here called the Edit Points line. Now there's also a feature of the Silhouette uh, DE that you can trace. And so I can select the image that I would like to trace and then by clicking the trace method I can therefore make a trace of it. Now what I do want to look at is getting rid of my clip art. What I do want to look at if I zoom in that when you trace you sometimes don't get smooth line quality and you can see right here where this is supposed to be a very smooth line and it gets all jiggle jaggled right there and what do you do if you're gonna put this through your cameo it's gonna cut like that and that's just gonna be a mess so regardless of what the image is I would like to show you what you can do clicking on your trace and then going up to the edit points you get all of these crazy little dots and what these represent really are just changes in the directionality of the line now if I zoom in quite a lot I can see where now they're a little bit more spread out and especially up in this place here where it's really pointy and that really shouldn't be happening what I can do is I can start to manipulate these you notice that once I've clicked on the edit points over in my side panel I get a point editing menu and if I click on the point I can either delete it I can break the path I can make it a corner I can make it smooth I can do all of these lovely things to it at the same time you get these blue triangle uh, squares rather that are very strange but watch what happens when you move them now these are all being able to adjust the line segment that comes after and before the point that you've selected until it hits the next point on your line if I start to spin notice the curvature of the line starts to change and I can change where that curve happens by elongating out the blue point from my selected dot now things like this I would just very simply click on the dot go back over here delete point boom I would then probably delete that one as well perhaps that one too and notice what it's done it has now smoothed out the line that I wanted now what if I don't want to delete this point what if deleting it makes it look very strange well I can slide the point up the line which then allows me to change these blue squares which gives me curvature and directionality of the line segment that is near it sometimes they're a little persnickety to grab look over here at this one you can click on it and you can see how it's very strangely oriented and so if I spin it a little bit it will start to smooth out and then look at how nice and smooth that line is you can delete points if I were to go ahead and see if I can find a small segment that we can play with I'll let this is good I can play with the line segment here I can let's see what break path looks like let's get that little red ellipse here double clicking also gives you the points and look at there's only three dots here so that's probably the reason why it looks so strange I can move it out to be more elliptical I can change the length of these 
and sometimes hello you can do it uh, there we go computer is running a little bit slower than I like so you can change this to change the shapes if I wanted to I can introduce a point and for her perhaps I want to break the path which then gives me come back here a place that I can now open up like so I now can have an open but I have this hole in my shape let's say I wanted to perhaps draw a straight line and then as my silhouette wanted to cut this well obviously it would make be making cuts all over the place so I'm going to try to line up my ends here the best that I can and then what I would like to do is I'd like to open my modify toolbar and if you they have all of these here but show modify options well I can go down to here into the it opens up a side menu I can make this part of the shape I want to attach this little line segment to the piece that I have opened up and it can be for whatever reason now what I can do is I can move it into place and I select the whole entire thing so you can see the outline of the larger red piece and then the outline of the littler piece and I go over to my modify window and I create I click on make make it a compound path and what that does is it creates an entire piece now that is all one now this shows you where the start and stop was of your other shape but you now have a lovely path a lovely shape that you can do whatever you need to with it and you can move it around you can change it into a corner there's a lot of things that you can do with this.